Welcome back everyone and thank you for joining me for The Witcher 3. Today is an exciting day because we are starting the wild... No. Okay, well, we're... Okay, this is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We are starting the Blood and Wine DLC. It's a very exciting day. So, I cannot wait. Blood and Wine, here we go. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to expect out of this one. I'm very excited and... I don't know. We had a pretty good main story ending. We had a good story ending relatively as far as it goes um, for Heart of Stone. We did see the other possible ending as well, and that was not so happy. The whistling at the end of that one was <laughs> wow. Um, but I'm pretty happy with most of the choices I've made. Not all of the choices. Certain things could have gone better, but uh, but more or less... Things are going pretty well. Um, Radovid seems to be an issue, and, you know, not much I can do about that at this point. Sorry, Dijkstra. <laughs> Here we go. This is my first time playing this, obviously. I don't really know what to expect here. We just did the whole other expansion, and, uh, apparently this one should also give us some nice other armor options, which is cool. Um, we can also go back to the rune right if we need at some point, but... Let's see what we can do and see if we can fully, fully upgrade our armor now. That would be nice. There was a time when there seemed to be two Geralts. One was a celebrity, at least in certain circles, while the other remained a mercenary who did dirty work for coin. At any rate, both these Geralts happened to be on a contract of an unusual sort, not least because it marked the start of a new adventure. And this adventure I will gladly relate. It began in a manner most ordinary, with a notice posted on a board in Velen. The Witcher read the notice and set out to see what else he could learn. Meet the knights from Toussaint and Holloway. So let's see. This be the witch menu. Should see the alternate looks? I would love to see the alternate looks now. We'll have to see if I end up seeing them on this quest. Only Shawnee on the last one. Geralt of Rivia. Ha! Sit with us, Witcher! Found your message on a notice board. You see, Palmerin, I told you, the griffin at White Orchard. I knew that were we only to follow the tracks of its slayer, we would in the end find Geralt. Milton de Peyrac Peyron and Palmerin de Lanfor. Good to see you both. Been years. Here, Short, we share your joy. You must forgive us our, uh, surroundings. When we pledged to place the village under our protection, the village elder gave us this hat as our lodgings. He swore it is the best hut in the village. It's a nice Get involved hut. in some squabble? We discovered that in retreating, the Redanian garrison that left this land's tillers at the mercy of numerous plagues. A tyranny of bandits, the most onerous among them. These plunderers shall soon descend on this village to collect tribute. Milton and I will dissuade them. We are both sworn to fight injustice and oppression wherever they rear their heads. The matter does not concern you, of course, but... Do us the kindness of waiting. Once we have dealt with these marauders, we have a matter we must present to you. Ah. Uh... Okay, so it's given me two options here. It's saying, let me help you with the bandits, or get rid of these bandits. Worse ones will come in to replace them. They say the matter does not concern you. I'm, I'm gonna try the second option. Let's see. No point fighting bandits. Kill these and others just as bad or possibly worse will come in to fill the void. To cast a blind eye upon the evil. There is no honor in it. Can't stay here to protect these folk from the dangers that come their way daily. Saw what I saw. Heard them urge you to leave these raiders alone. Must have good reason to do that. Do you suggest that should we help, we assume responsibility for their fate, for their lives? A burden we cannot agree to bear. Geralt speaks wisely. We know neither this land, nor its peoples, nor its customs. And we have come with another duty altogether. Uh, ah, how I long to return to Toussaint, where all is simpler. Soon, my friend, soon. First, let us convey our missive to Geralt in the manner tradition ordains. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Uh... 
they're so, like, serious. Yeah, they're like, very serious knights here, like, okay, in the manner of tradition ordains. Peasants will be fine, Palmerin. Been dealing with bandits for generations. Your words do little to assuage my sense of morality bruised. So fess up. What brings you such a long way? We are to deliver Her Grace the Duchess's message in full, with all due ceremony. For tradition... It is sacred in Toussaint. All right, fine. Most honorable Geralt, slayer of monsters oh, they got a whole and all nefarious, which prey on the defenseless of this world. Yes. Whereas never have you been known to deny help Glasses to the innocent, and all. nor leave widows and orphans to fates undeserved. Answer you now, our present sons. Free us from the beast which floods our streets with blood and sows panic in the hearts of rich and poor alike. Come to our aid, witcher. Thus humbly beseeches you the star Cross city's most gracious protectress, her illustrious highness, Duchess Anna Henrietta. Shall you answer her call? Well, I suppose I must. She say all that word for word. Anna Henrietta really say all that, word for word? Well, in point of fact, she said, bring me the witcher and dare not spare your horses. Only make certain this time he comes alone. The Ducal Chamberlain added the rest. You know how Yeah, it is. you know. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I might add, be it Okay, so how does Geralt know that? Hefty reward awaits. Yet the specifics you will need to will verify they tell me? with her illustrious It looks like I'm kind of supposed to know. From the books. Okay. Might be the most fervent request that I take a contract ever. And the most polite. We have a whole and now we've got all that behind scroll. us. I want to hear more about this beast. Some kind of monster? Just guessing. Most assuredly, though no one has caught a good look at it as yet, our only sure witnesses. Bodies massacred in a brutal, horrid manner. Look, some sketches drafted from descriptions given by those who claim they glimpsed the beast. Each quite different. To my mind, these witnesses lie. How many victims so far? Two. When Her Grace learnt of the second, she discharged us immediately to fetch you, promising grants of land and fortunes in gold, should you answer her summons. An ill wind blows, Geralt. The They're beast like, cannot be tracked. Folks say it wields black magic. Also, mm. both victims were nobly born, and the start of a tourney draws near. It, yeah, what's with the black magic? Like, what? We dealt with that a little bit during our last expansion, hmm? Beast wields black magic? But like, a beast? What makes you say so? The first victim vanished between bites at a feast. Of the feast goers, none noticed this. They saw but an open window, then heard desperate cries from the street below where a corpse had just been found. The second killing, similar. A knight in a locked room. Serpents all about the house, guards all around the estate. Yet the beast somehow got him out, dragged him to the town square, and killed him there. No one saw, nor heard, a thing. Weird. We have no fear of creatures against which sword and shield protect, but of this beast, nothing is known. Safe that it cannot be traced, kills effortlessly, and with no rhyme or reason we can discern. Well, that's kind of scary. Uh... Yeah, can it be, like, trapped or something? Okay, how about trapping? Anyone tried to hunt it? Knight's Errant, for example? Ha! Many have tried. Baiting, waiting in ambush, but to no avail. The beast is clever. It evades all traps and attacks of a sudden. It is like a ghost. An experienced tracker. This is what we need, with knowledge of monsters. In short, we need you. Tourney? Mentioned a tourney. Why doesn't the Duchess just call it off? Simply, it is too late. The guests have arrived. The best knights of all lands, relatives of the Emperor. The beast could be a threat to others, not just to her grace's subjects. Got it. For an aristocrat dies, at best it's a scandal. At worst, a diplomatic incident. 
Not a diplomatic incident. I'll take the contract, sure. They they have I sometimes think back to all the contracts I've ever taken from sovereigns. Can't name hardly any where I came out ahead. You cannot be thinking to refuse. <sighs> no. Just struck by a thought. How the Duchess can sometimes be mm, demanding. So you accept the contract? Excellent. We must set off at once. We long wanted this land searching for you. Yet time is of the essence. Ready to go, as soon as you're packed. Ha! Ah, then post haste to Toussaint. To Toussaint! To what? Toussaint. Yes. So fancy. Well, where are we going? I'm excited. Well, this looks pretty. So green. I'm not used to such greenery. Like that. To oh my. The land of love and wine. Love and wine. Exactly how I remembered it. How pretty. Okay. You will find Beauclair has changed some in these past years. Walk about when you that have the so chance. That is so pretty. You oh my gosh. You see for yourself. To I'm me, sorry, I'm taking screenshots. It's out so of a pretty. Fairy tale. Knights errant, elven palaces. You insinuate that we are somehow odd? I shall prove you wrong. This I pledge on the heron. Wow. monster I'm looking for, but I think that's a monster I'm going to have to deal with. Not the horse! Why do they always do that to the horse in this game? The horses are not safe in this world. At all. Zero percent. Witcher universe, incredibly dangerous for horses. Watch out. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can actually play having gloves on. All right. All right, we're just we're just starting off today with a with a boss fight. We've got this. You know what? Let's just do that. Yeah, with it. feathers I love it big beast tackling it single-handed none too wise neither is love born of wisdom with you so Guillaume outfit it which fair damsel inspired you to vow to kill that filth the most beautiful among them if he wishes to guard her name a secret he need not reveal it you I do not know, sir, nor seem you a knight, yet still I am profoundly grateful, nay, indebted to you for your succor. This trophy, sir, is yours. Oh. I mean, okay. Why, why is it here, though? Why is it here? A giant this close to human settlements? Strange. Well, that was no ordinary giant. His name was Goliath, rumored to have been a knight once, but one who broke his vows. For this, the Lady of the Lake transformed him into a wild giant and banished him into the Gorgon Hills. So oh. he came back down? Why? Several times each year, hunger chased him into the lowlands. Goliath had killed and devoured many shepherds. 
Guillaume's hunt served a noble cause. At any rate, it's a tale for more agreeable environs. That sounds like a... quite a story. I'll take the trophy. Why not? Could find someone who'll pay to buy nice. it. Sure. Put up a good fight against the giant. Got experience battling monsters? None. In Tucson, we mostly chase bandits. But I vowed I'd bring my heart's champion the head of a monstrosity, as the famed Gottfrieds, known as the Giant Killer, did. You don't mean to hunt the beast, I hope. The matter's best left to Geralt. Another challenge awaits me. Yet if Geralt is to hunt the beast, he ought to know. It struck again. The river surrendered a corpse. It washed up in the meander by the cockatrice. Damien Delatour's guardsmen are there already, securing the area. Securing the area? Better go there now before they trample any tracks, manhandle any evidence. Set forth then. I shall ride for the city to inform her gracious magnificence that just... Geralt has arrived. We'll meet later, near Guillaume's tent at the Tourney grounds. I shall take you then to see her grace. Okay. I feel like we need to like change up our look. I feel like it doesn't work anymore. We at least need to change the hair. Maybe the glasses can stay, we'll see. All right, shall we get to our game? Let's go do some investigating. This sounds interesting, it, especially it, it's a stark contrast. The scariness of the thing that they have described, it is it is a big contrast um, to the beauty of this land and the brightness. Brave kid, Guillaume. Okay, Farmer I don't want to run over their farm animals. Guillaume is his kid. All right, let's look at this. Mutations and Grandmaster Witcher gear. In Blood and Wine, you can undergo additional Witcher mutations to unlock new capabilities. Soon, you will run into a messenger who will deliver a very interesting letter. Read it and investigate the story of Professor Moreau to learn more about these mutations. They say a master craftsman lives in Toussaint who can craft Witcher gear of unequaled quality. What's more, you receive special bonuses for wearing all or part of a set of this extraordinary equipment. You will not regret investigating these new options. Okay, so I know that our current set can be improved. Be curious to see what's going on there. You guys again for the hype train. I did get the Viper gear. I was considering checking that out. Um, we'll have to see what the bonus is for that one. It didn't seem to be popping up already. Can't get used to the way you knights talk, especially how you switch back and forth between flowery and, well, near normal. We are knights errant in the service of her gracious magnificence. When we appear in her name or speak on her behalf, we are bound by tradition. Bound by tradition, so yes, must be must be formal then. No okay, one I almost ran him over. They oh. must have removed the body already. He doesn't care Let's about ropes. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Okay, I feel like the camera needs to just... There we go. Okay, so we gotta take a look around. I think we're gonna take off the gloves for now. Put them back on later. Hobnailed boots, multiple sets of prints. Ducal guard, clearly. Let's see where they went. Walked along the shoreline. Perhaps the body lay on the bank. Oh, Got no. guests. Careful. Okay, that's a new. That's a new thing. Okay, Geralt, why could we stab? What did I get hit by? Dang. I shall make pate of you? I'll oh, see, like, I even see the things pop up 
Feels like finish off. Oh, okay. Drawn here by the smell of blood. Let's keep looking. Oh, it's one of those kind of things. All right, all right. Yeah, I get it. Hmm. All right, what were we doing? We were investigating. Anything taken by the current ends up in these shallows. Yes, the stench is fierce. Only blood-soaked scraps left of the victim's clothing. Good quality cloth. A wealthy victim, correct? Looks it. Blood. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in. Make sure they didn't miss anything. Oh. Oh, goody. I just love this shovel that we have right now, the spade. The caretaker's Blood. spade. It's great. Guardsmen pulled these nets out of the water, then cut the mutilated body free. Gonna dive in. Make sure they didn't all right, miss anything. Alright, alright, yes, we're diving in. Um... Nets were attached here. Okay, so... Time to go in the water. My favorite activity. No, that's not the only thing. We're not only here for loot. Okay, a little bit here for loot. Anything else? I think that was it. So, Kerchief, monogrammed DLC. The nobles accessory, clearly. You're nice to know where they took DLC? the DLC? Did they just... <laughs> I'm like, wait. Okay, thank you. DLC, okay. <sighs> I've never had a game do something like that. That's good. What now? This isn't the site of the murder. We know that. Current brought the body here. Corpse got caught in the nets. Guardsmen pulled it out, put it in a boat, and took it somewhere. Need to find out where. I'd like to look at the corpse before it starts to decompose. The inn. Its patrons must have seen the guardsmen. Which direction they took. We should ask there. Who was that? A mysterious cloaked figure. Seems we've got ourselves an audience. You think this surprising? The locals will tell the children of children they do not have yet. Of the day a quartered corpse was pulled from the river. Okay. That's... Doesn't make me feel better, but thank you. One thing. Found a handkerchief in the water. Monogrammed DLC. Mean anything to you? Delacroix? It cannot be. Was it he the beast slew? Seems so. Knew him well? Long past. And the devs saw the opportunity and we they, they went with friends it. Or the writers or whoever. Our paths diverged. <laughs> he was a man of extremes. Standing by his companions, no matter the odds. Fighting his foes to the bitter end. Foes? You have a lot of them? He did. But I do not see what that has to do with the beast. Ah, Geralt. You've struck a raw nerve. Memories of a time long past, to which I'd rather not return now. I understand. We can talk later. Let's go to the tavern. I shall have to leave you soon. Return to court. Barely got back to Toussaint. A knight in the service of her illustrious highness knows no rest. In fact, I feared I would return too late to fulfill my duty. Oh my. Yet it seems I've arrived in the nick of time. Guy's got to hurry everywhere. Serve her illustrious highness is an honor, a privilege, a pleasure. I'm gonna look for some more food. Looks like we're kind of low. What's going on in here? Hmm. Nothing yet. Once you have finished examining the corpse, be sure to report to Anarietta. Anarietta? Her grace, the Duchess. I forget myself at times. We address each other by our first names in private. Oh. Never in Pomrin's presence, however. He finds such familiarity offensive. A watering hole for traders, smugglers, boatmen. But you will find no better crayfish chowder in all Toussaint. Killer from the north, they say. What? 
with no lads brave enough. Of course we have. But bravery's not All right, come on. Beast. Let's go. I oh, let's take a look. Okay, so where am I? Hang on, before I even... Where are we? Places where you can begin new quests from Blood and Wine are marked with this icon. Okay, so we are... Is this a whole new area? Oh my gosh. That's a decent sized map. Okay. This is like a whole expansion. All right, all right. Hunting season now open. Go the numbers of the woodland predators. Okay. The Witcher Geralt of Rivia, known as the White Wolf, is wanted to serve as a guide. His potential employer guarantees an ample wage for this unusual contract. For more information, he should go to Count Beladal's temporary base camp in Tucson. We currently request all other persons not present present themselves at said camp under the pretense of being Geralt of Rivia. Count Beladal was not born yesterday and can easily tell who's a witcher and who's faking it. All those journeying to his camp in shabby costumes with wooden swords strapped to their backs can save themselves the trouble and turn back. Wooden swords, that's good, that's good. Calling all knights errant and other strong men. The duchy needs you. Your aid is required. Bounteous rewards are in the offing. More details available at the local Ducal Camerlengo's offices on Knights Dormant Square. Okay, there's going to be a lot of fancy knightly terms here. Very royal and courtly. Announcement from the Office of Internal Revenue of the Duchy of Tucson. Is that the IRS of this of the Witcher world? <laughs> The Office of Internal Revenue hereby announces a limited live auction to be held regarding the sale of a piece of developed real estate and accompanying agricultural land located in the Caraberta Woods region, having been left to the Ducal Treasury by the late Count Crespi, who departed this world without any heirs. Due to the unique nature of the Belgard estate and its important role in the production of wine, bringing great fame to the duchy in all corners of the world, only subjects of the Duchy of Toussaint shall be allowed to participate in the auction. To all knights errant and other such men of arms, be it known far and wide that the services of voluntary keepers of the peace shall be needed. Minor problems are expected to arise during the tra transfer of the above-mentioned real estate, and said problems for their dissolution could require the application of direct physical force. All volunteers are asked to report to the field office of the Procurator General of Toussaint near Plegmund Bridge, that is to say, the place where the auction shall be held. Auction time. Make sure we have some money for this one. It is Count Ammonio's supreme delight to announce a Gwent tournament of his organization. Those who wishing to take part should register at the pheasantry. Please note that this tournament features new faction developed by Count Ammonio himself. Hmm. To the Beauclair Cooper's Guild um, is seeking an individual or individuals willing to escort a merchant convoy through an area threatened by the Great White Terror. Okay. Ducal oh, I should pick that one up help. too. It'd be oh. good coin to be made. Peasantry place seems interesting, yeah? A no entry zone. Oh my. My dog's gone missing. Wait! I want to find the dog. Interesting. I'm not going to read that one. Oh. By my troth, could that be the musty scent of fresh pate? Naught else, Sir de Peyrac Peyron. I see time has not dulled your senses. We would be honored if you would join us. Uh, your companion as well. But why do I not detect even a whiff of crayfish chowder? No soup today. On account of there being no crayfish. I reckon you've not heard, but all I caught was a corpse. I awoke at the crack of dawn, as I do each day, but when I looked up, I beheld a blood-red sky. This corpse is precisely why we're here. 
So the man whom you've invited to join you at the table was summoned from a far off land. A far off land, yes, that is much he is more bleak than this place. And killing the beast. We invited two men to join us, yet since Sir the Peyrak Peyran in temperament is more akin to hare than hound, I surmise the other is the hunter. With whom do we have the pleasure? Um... Geralt? Milton introduced me already? I mean... Name's Geralt. A humble introduction. You've clearly not tarried long with Sir the Peyrak Peyran. Spare us the petty insults. Geralt is a master of the witchery trade. He has questions concerning the beast's last victim. I was the one to find the corpse. The sun had just risen when I awoke, sat straight up in my bed, looked out the window, and beheld a sky red as blood. Ask Geralt, please, or we shall be here till winter. Okay. Must have been early in the morning. All the details, Went please. to check your nets and then... I stepped out of my hut and saw... <laughs> By my troth, to the point, man. You found a body ensnared in your crayfish nets. We know this already. What happened then? Did you see anyone nearby? Did you spy anything noteworthy? Anything at all? Not a soul around, just me. As for noteworthy... Hmm, well... What did you see? But be warned. If I hear the sky was red again, I saw a head. This guy's very helpful, eyes yeah? Eyes bulging. The tongue blew and popped out. Next to it, a hand rocking upon the water. Get a good look at the body parts? They gave me such a fright. I bolted like, to town no. fast as my legs would take me, then returned with guardsmen who told me to keep out of their way. They had a hard haul. The parts were so tangled up in my nets, they were forced to cut them. Okay, that's... Thank you for the details. Need to examine the body. Know where they took it? They ferried it across, then loaded it on a cart and hauled it to a cellar at Corfo Bianco to keep it cool, see? What? Why, Corvo Bianco is Baron Rassel's estate. When he learns they've turned his cellar into a morgue, he'll set his hounds on them. While you were caliphanting about the north, his vineyard was auctioned off. Who's that? Who was that? Woman who just the left. The cloaked figure. Didn't see her before. Didn't notice her walk in either. Doubtless Ninnis, the innkeep's daughter. But hold, Geralt, because this is an outrage. Rassel's vineyard was auctioned off? Inconceivable! It is no secret the Baron had gambling debts up to his ears. It finally came time to collect. His creditors auctioned off his property. The Ducal Chancellery bought it, in fact. Russell now bunks with his brother in Vicar Faro. I told Russell he'd get his comeuppance. How long can one draw on past heroics? His creditors must finally have defined that his promises meant nothing. Such are the times. Today's knights are pale shadows of the heroes of yore. It's true what they say. God sent the they beast to, to punish Antigo. us for straying from the old paths. The thing, it's the d divine punishment? So <laughs> folk think the beast's divine punishment. Knights have turned That's their backs on the old customs. Harsh. Where they were defenders of the duchy, they're now defenders of their own tushes. I Why, you? Insolent. Uh, oh, this guy's talk. got some fighting words. The Duchess trades in titles, grants honors to ill to us. We've strayed from the path of virtue, lost the gods' favor, so the gods sent retribution. Don't listen to that nonsense, Geralt. It's rehashed street preacher Codsworth. Yes, the rebel rousers have been sprouting up like weeds lately, each offering the same bill of goods. So what else? They say anything else about the beast? We get more options. Besides I love it that. being a messenger of the gods. The two Chantois are no fools. They see clearly the beast kills on days honoring patron saints. Picky monster. 
So, okay, so it does not sound like a monster to me. It immediately did not sound like a monster. My immediate thought was somewhat like the, what, the polymorph or something? Like the people who can change into different things? Like, is this someone who can maybe turn into like an animal or something? Like, I, I don't know. This does not seem as random as they think. Thanks for the hospitality. Time I examined the corpse. Covo Bianco lies a short way from here, near the tourney grounds. Just follow the road and you'll arrive. Not coming with? Oh yeah, duty of some sort calls. Some sort? <laughs> Her grace bestowed a Another great, great honor, honor, yes. Even before we departed for Velen. I'm to play the hare during this oh, year's game? game in the palace gardens. When you see me in my costume, you will wet yourself laughing. A little tempted to ask a few questions, but it sounds like a long, complicated story. One involving lengthy digressions into local history and tradition. So, see you later, Melvin, and good luck. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's all the questions I'm going to ask. So, goodbye. <laughs> Got freedom, the chessboard knight. I've come from a time long past to remind you of humility, which is a long forgotten virtue. My name was consumed by dragon fire when I perished, victim of my own pride. Hmm. Oh, there's the scroll. These are all of the uh, quests. Information for tournament participants. Allow me to prevent, present myself. Count Monier, the organizer of this Gwent tournament. As you most probably know, I have introduced a new faction to our beloved game, Skellige. I am convinced this step shall add variety to our pastime, further perfecting its perfection. I shall be delighted if you choose to play this faction during our event. Okay, so there's a Skellige faction now. Ooh. Oh, dear fellow, with a... Uh, normally, Hello? I'd encourage you to try our famed fisherman's chowder. But alas, we are all out of crayfish. Dang. Could replace them with something else. Perch, for example. Replace crayfish with fish? I beg you. What next? Vinegar for wine? Parsley for thyme? <laughs> huh? Your nordlings are a pleasant lot, but about cuisine you know nothing. They have a heard any rumors thing. Is this Skyrim? I love it. Got any gossip? Fisherman talking about anything interesting? Yes, about a Nortling who would replace crayfish with pike. Asked a serious question. Hmm, and a tactless one. I do not if stroke on my clients, and I certainly don't repeat anything I chance to hear. Gwent? Higher stakes, Gwent. Not likely to taste your famous fisherman's chowder, so maybe we could play some Gwent. Oh, dear fellow, with a fish sock like that, you must have your pick of the ladies. Anything I want to swap out. So I know that we talked about maybe swapping out. I think our volume is just a little loud today. Might not be though. No, it's not. Let's see. Um, we have the old geared card. Yeah, I want to swap him in, and then I probably want to swap out. swap out one of these guys at this point. Or... Or I swap out this guy who's a five here. I think I swap out the five. Honestly. Yeah.
We have a couple spies, so I'm not too worried about our hand. Um, I'm gonna swap this one out. We don't really have the other eight. Try to swap one of these out, see if we get something. Eh, sure. Starting out with Dandelion, huh? Oh, I was considering taking Dandelion out of the deck. I'll have to think about that. Um, here we go. So this is the Skellige deck. I'm like, what is that? Transformed into a bear. Huh. So I could consider scorching, but I want to see what the deal is with the bear. Yeah, what's that? Uh-oh, are they gonna make a bunch of bears appear or something? We didn't get any more spies, unfortunately, so I gotta wait and see if they decoy those or something. Which I'm not sure they're gonna. I don't even know if that deck has that. We're gonna find out. Don't know. Um, I will put this guy down here. Sure. I was gonna say the music's different, right? Skellico will be my new favorite if I get all the cards, but no spies besides the one. Ooh, that'd be different. Okay, so there's the bears. And there's the big... Oh. That's cool. I'm gonna go for the Scorch. Sorry, bears. Get wrecked. And then they pass. That's when... Okay, so a six would tie... So I've got to throw that down. I'd be interested to see if they have an ability to bring a card back from like the dead or something. No, no spy. Shuffles all cards from each player's graveyard back into their decks. Interesting. So that's both of them, right? So that's like both me and them? Hmm. Um. Do I need to medic anything? No. Let's just put down... That's me there. There we go. Isn't the Skellica quest where the party was crushed by a bear? Oh, gosh. Look at the spies you play, but you have decoys, so it works out. Okay. Hmm. What is that? Destroy your enemy's strongest close combat units if the combined strength is 10 or more. So I don't think that works retroactively, right? So like, they just already use that, I guess? Sure. faster. <laughs> no, they did not make a Gwent card with Roach on the roof. <laughs> no. Girl, the Rivia 15? And you get Roach? Dang. I need some of those. Can I use 
the leader cards of them or anytime soon would be neat. Hmm. I'm just gonna put dandelion there, sure. Yeah, embrace the jokes. I love it. I mean, yeah. I was wondering. That's fine. We have a medic if we need. We'll be medicing something. So we can decoy the medic also, but like, if he will just hurry up and use the leader card. There it is. There it is. Okay, so now I can't use the medic to bring them back. Oh, so I should have used the medic before. Okay, noted. That's how that works. Oops. Um, not a big deal anyways, because... I'm just gonna put that there. Siri. Yeah, I kind of didn't understand exactly what the deal was there either, but it's all good. Um, so what it does is it mixes it back into your deck. So like, if I had spies or something, or if I had like another round or something that I could win first. Okay, well here's the thing. I pass here, right? And do I let them have the round? And then do I take the round that? No, I don't need to do that, right? Like, I can just take this one, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, so you can't play the medic here. So, I'm just gonna put that down there. The medic can't do anything, but that doesn't really matter. And then we do that, and then we win anyways. Cool. So. Yeah. Neat. Okay. A new deck to learn to play against. And hopefully to get some cards up soon. Alright, so let's go examine a body kept in a cellar. Sounds lovely. Yeah, no, I definitely need to learn how to play the, the Skellige deck. So we'll have to start collecting the cards. Excited to see them. Sounds like a fight. Have to hurry. Sounds like quite a fight. What? Damn it. Killer must still be here. Uh. Okay, I see why they say monster, Busted though. Ribs, blood from the ears. Took a solid hit. Geralt, just keep talking over yourself, it's fine. <laughs> River Muck carried the body in this cart. Hmm. Well. <laughs> we have a, a new bestiary. Let's see. Where is this thing gonna be? Here we go. If you must travel through the woods, steer clear of any places where you can hear several different kinds of birds at once. That sound means you're entering Abruxa's territory and can kiss your life farewell. Anonymous piece of advice. Fortunately for us, Bruxae are rare creatures. Most live far from population centers, for they care greatly for their own safety and make their lairs in places where they cannot be taken by surprise. 
Those who decide to live near men avoid crowds and emerge from their shelters only at night. When they do, one could almost mistake them for delayed travelers hurrying towards their night lodging, yet subtle details give them away. Their close ties to birds, their piercing voices, and breathtaking speed of their movements. Rooks say are far swifter and stronger than men, but their greatest asset is their ability to turn invisible. Rooks say dart around with uncanny speed, and with their power of invisibility, they can easily confuse opponents and attack unexpectedly or from behind. Thus, when fighting these vampires from the moon dust bomb is a great aid. A moon dust bomb, okay. While it cannot eliminate the vampire's in invisibility altogether, it can make it easier to track its motions. A generous smearing of vampire oil, also effective. Brooks A use their sharp claws to attack and can easily break through an opponent's guard by buffeting him with a hail of blows from all directions. They will try to bite their prey and drink its blood once it's weakened, so every witcher who expects to encounter such a monster should swallow a black blood potion beforehand. Rooksay are also known for their sonic attacks, which knock down and stun their prey. Black blood potion, moon dust bomb. Got it. So. Black blood and moon dust. Let's see. Let's prepare. Do I not have moon dust? Oh dear. Is that alchemy? I think that's alchemy. Let me see. Moon dust. There it is. Enhanced moon dust? Yes, perfect. Might as well make that. Make them all. Any more of these? No, I didn't really care about those that much. Need to go get some more things. Some of these simple ingredients missing. Um, okay, so inventory. Bam. And then... Black Blood Potion. So let's just go ahead and equip that one. Cool. Could be lifesavers. Prints. Small bare feet lead deeper into the cellar. Small bare feet? Hurled against the wall with great force. Used this to batter down the grate. Took a lot of strength to batter this down. Okay. Took a lot of strength, huh? I feel like I should have quick saved. You saw you at the inn. Oh. It's her. Oh, good. And she's I know just what you are. naked eating. Don't know why you killed these people, though. Clearly yeah, wasn't for their blood. Right, is she just eat eating them, or? Hey, hey there. We don't have to fight. Uh, you are wrong. Why? Y y oh, she's got like vampire mist powers. Okay. I cannot let you leave. It's a bit different. Okay, hang on. In the thing. So it said this, what else was this? 
Yurden. Yeah, I was assuming. I'm like, this looks like this is gonna be a Yurden situation. Once again, I love Yurden. I knew that was coming. That's okay. So what was she doing? What? First things first. Any other loot to grab real quick? No. Uh, stinks. Waterlogged. Both hands amputated. Body was quartered just as I thought. Laid in water for some time. Head swollen. And something took a few bites out of it. Hmm. Something in the throat. A pouch bulging with coins. Elf Guardian Florence. Normal. From several different provinces. If the murderer did this, it means we're dealing with a sentient thinking beast. Yeah. Things seem smart. Body was chopped up after death. Blows struck with great force, but bones sliced through, not crushed. Creature that killed him had long claws, sharp as a witcher's blade. First sank its claws into the victim's heart. No Bruxa did this. So she didn't do this. Also, did we kill the innkeeper's daughter? Did we, like... Did we, like, do that? Sorry, my bad. Third hand. A spare? Except it's clearly not the victims. Guardsmen must have not noticed it as they picked everything up. How's this possible? Still warm. Blood still flowing? Several monster species can regenerate. Never heard of that happening to their severed limbs, though. Or of their limbs seeming completely alive after so much time. Examine the tissue more closely later. Might learn something. Hmm. It's good. We're just collecting some things. So, murderer was clearly a monster, but not a Bruxa. But then why'd the Bruxa come here for the severed hand? And who does the hand belong to? Yeah, like what? Why the hell's it still warm? Ew, that's No. Weird. Out shoved down the victim's throat. What's the significance? And why was he chopped up into pieces? Lots of questions. No answers so far. Need to know about the other victims. I'll ask Palmer in to get me in to see the Duchess. Okay, so gotta go see the Duchess. Sorry, I'm trying. Wigs. It's good. It's easy. <laughs> Yeah, so we're like full on investigator. So we killed that lady. Uh, if she didn't attack us, I mean, we didn't have to fight. What Geralt said is true then. Like, we didn't have to fight. Like, it, it doesn't, didn't look like that was her doing, but she was also doing a whole thing. She probably didn't want to see, want us to see her doing whatever it was she was doing there. So, it's fair. Am I supposed to go out this way? No, I'm supposed to go this way. All right, now we run back up here, up the mountain. Find Palmerin and ask you to take him to the Duchess. Ask him to take you to the Duchess. There we go. The sound they've really improved upon for this expansion. There was not sound effects like this previously in the game. Not like this. Oh, 
just love the designs, like the logs on the side, the hill. Okay, before I go do that, let's go see what is going on at the blacksmith. Hello there. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. Is that a little Gwent? No, I want to see what's going on here. We'll, we'll be back. So long. You are not the here. There it goes. Riot. Uh, Thank you, friend. Peace Thank you. Alright. Shall we see? Quick saving. Arr. Hang on, I haven't done like a like a full save in a minute too. Ali, Ali, mm. Need to speak to the Duchess urgently. Hello All there, right, urgent. Store is done. Urgent business. Go find your parents. But the Pomerine. What about the story of Ritik and the dragon? A tales for another time. But take a good look at the man who stands before you now. This is Geralt of Rivia, the master witcher who lent his valiant hand to the defeat of the giant Goliath. Master Witcher, is it true virtue always trumps villainy? Not always. Could go either way. Sometimes virtue wins, sometimes villainy gets the upper hand. Still worth being good. But why? If it doesn't mean you'll win. Palmer and story. Think back. A decent man attracts other good folk, makes friends he can count on. The rogue? Well, you can only count on other rogues. And who would oh, you there rather we go. have for a friend? Thank you. A man of virtue? I must agree. Carol with some philosophy. That will do for questions. Go find your parents. With the life lessons. Her enlightened highness has doubtless arrived at the tourney grounds to watch the battle in the arena. If we hurry, we'll be in time to speak with her before the spectacle begins. Lead the way. <laughs> Who's fighting? Elf Guardian gladiators? <laughs> Close, but not quite. As we'll soon see. What is this? Someone's gonna fight a shale mar. Mm. some elves on its tail to confuse it, slow it down. Whatever is the problem? <laughs> the beast is a gift from the Emperor, no less. It shouldn't do that, excuse me? Shouldn't torment the beast. How would you like to be dumped in an arena? Yeah, like what? Spell. Come on. Pity a monster. You, a witcher. I slay monsters who are a threat to humans. You're out to humiliate one to entertain a crowd. No knight will gain any glory from this. No. Who's going to fight the beast? Guillaume, the young man you met. Yeah. Mentioned he promised his heart's capture a monster trophy. Great love demands great sacrifices. Poor thing gets sacrificed for someone's love. I don't know. I would be like, everyone adopt an owl bear today, you know? Let's <laughs> just see what this creature is. Okay, the hair's starting to fall apart. I also, I really, I should have, uh, maybe taken a quick break before this, but that's okay. Let's go see the Duchess, shall we? Let's go. Onward!
I dedicate my imminent victory to fair lady Vivian. Oh my. It's begun. The fight shall have to end first. We must wait. Poor thing. Feeling about this. Yeah, this is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. We gotta help him, I guess. This poor thing. Gotta keep it down. Get on the top of the armor. Flash for lightning. The beast keeps its foul guard. Let loose the roar. This poor thing. Where's the option to spare it? Give fight to the beast. Its friends confound. The fate of the beast has been weighed by the gods. Soon the witcher shall triumph against all odds. The witch awaited till the time was true, then twelve danced and spun, struck the monster like crew. Like a bow who leaves at the love's first Quite spurt. something. So the witch wooed the Shelma, then its foul heart. Uh oh, I just ran into that guy over. I don't want to kill it! Where's the option to spare it? Blood transforms into jelly. Where's the option to spare it? Yeah, the guy's had a health bar. It's okay. Not good. I'm sorry. I didn't want to kill it. Did I let the guy die? Because of I might. Have. It's okay. The, the guy. The, he was. Fine. The Shelma lies defeated by Geralt of Rithia, master of the Witchering trade. Behold. As the last gasps of life seep from the beast. I think the glasses need to go too. They're too much. They were perfect for the last DLC, but Master I don't know about Geralt, this one. <laughs> do what you must. Finish the deed. No, I'm not. I won't. No. Monster's no threat. No need to kill it. A victor may always show mercy. It yes. is his right. Long live Gerd the Merciful. Indeed. Pikeman, see to the beast. Release it into the wilds. Why are they still pointing spears at it? Guillaume. Help it. The lot came damned close to dying. I'm... Fine. Not hurt at all. Vivian? Uh. Smile as befits a hero and keep silent. Speech clearly paints you. Yeah, you're clearly she not punches. fine, but do your best to hold it together. Geralt. We must... Wait until talk. I get a contract to kill it first, but actually, Vivian, though... You shall talk later, in the medic's tent. Geralt, magnificent, breathtaking. Your grace. We knew that to summon you was a brilliant idea. We are delighted, raffish, to have struck upon it. And I'm truly... Uh, honored. See to our young hero. Hop, Good job, hop, Geralt. For we must make off with Geralt. We should talk. We had been long awaiting your arrival. Had nearly lost hope. Then suddenly, that entrance, so spectacular, Fair 
bad idea. Your grace. I agree. Shale Mars are dangerous creatures, even to knights in full plate armor. Nonsense. In Toussaint, knights have battled beasts for mere glory since time immemorial. True. Guillaume suffered a few bumps, scars, and bruises, but in return gained eternal glory as he who slew the monster. Mm hmm. What about the crowd? Say the Shalemar had vaulted into the stands. Would have been a massacre. Geralt, though we value your fortuitous intervention in the arena, <laughs> we would remind you your services have been retained. And as shall soon become clear, you will be generously compensated. Money? We're completing another task altogether. I need more for the rune right still, I think, technically. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the contract, yeah? Your grace, my contract. I'd like to discuss it. Naturally, but not here. We shall need Damien. He let the investigation pending your arrival. But whatever could he be? Come, we must find him. Tell us, have you come alone? Or did Viscount Julian accompany you? Wish to see Dandelion, Your Grace? Yes. I mean, no. Ugh. Yes. But solely to tell him we regret. Yes, deeply regret rescinding the death sentence we so justly handed down upon him. If we could turn back time, we would make certain he sat in a tower till he rotted. No, we would ensure he was broken on the wheel, then drawn, hanged, and quartered. Ah, the very man we would uh, entrust oh to my his tasks. Damien Tela You guys. Captain of my personal guard. Your Grace. Witcher. Greetings. Uh... Should I tell them? I guess I'll tell them. Sorry to have to tell you, but the guardsmen handling the last victim's body... I know already. The creature in the cellar of Corfo Bianco. Was it the beast? No. A Bruxa. A kind of vampire. Not the beast, but tied to it in some way. You know this how? Through careful analysis of the evidence, both on the riverbank and at Corvo Bianco. Do you mean to insinuate the investigation thus far has been sloppy? Geralt insinuates nothing of the sort. We must listen to him attentively. Okay, so two things. I examined the body of the beast's last victim. Might have found something. Need to analyze it. A quiet place. That's what I could use most right now. And maybe the help of an alchemist or a mage. Also like to hear all you know about the previous victims. Take it Sir Delatour is my man for that. Firstly, call me Damien, please. Secondly, you should know I spoke against summoning you here. I've heard much about you. You bring trouble, or thus far have, always. Uh oh And we've enough trouble as it is. Yet we are capable of defeating the beast on our own, without an outsider's help. I've no doubt about it. Damien, we settled the matter of the Witcher's employ some time past. Definitively. Since you have broached it nonetheless, let us discuss Geralt's pay. Oh? Are the legends true? Do Witchers usually demand? That which you find at home, yet did not expect. Uh, what? That which you... What? I expect coin. <laughs> uh... Not... Al always? Not quite, Your Grace. Law of surprise, it's something we invoke at times, but rarely. Okay, Usually good. we just take gold. Disappointing. This law sounds rather romantic. On the other hand, on returning to the palace, we would likely find impatient Disappointing. Oh, or a set of sample yes. fabrics for a new dress. 
poor rewards both. I fear you'd not have much use for any of the surprises we are likely to come upon. Thus, we've decided you shall receive what? a deed to a vineyard. A vineyard? Corvo Bianco. And a sum of coin. You will doubtless consider this adequate. Title to the vineyard shall be given to you at once. Surely you oh. need lodgings while you hunt. The coin, however, Surely. will be yours only once you have slain the beast. Lovely, generous gesture, Your Grace. <sighs> Corvo Bianco. Isn't it the Duchy's temporary morgue? Is it uh... now? The Chancellery's bungled things now? again, we fear. Not to be left unsupervised for one instant. Yet, in its mood, a morgue should present minimal problems She's to She's like, yeah, it's fine for you, though. What's more, <laughs> nothing enhances a wine's reputation better than a grim legend. Thank you, Your Grace. I accept the contract, of course. But as I said before, I'll need some information. Um... First victim, tell me. How did it start? Who was the first victim? Crispy was the first to die. He was famed once for his many glorious tournament victories. Then he grew the old, screen flickering his sword, and through? took to winemaking. Crespi hmm. was not loved by the wine merchants. He was ruthless in business and thought to cheat many a time. He asked us for a dispensation from all court ceremonies. We did not grant it. We could not. Once you've taken the oath of a knight, you remain a knight till death. How'd he die? Where'd they find the body? Quite unusual, the circumstance. He was at a feast when suddenly one of his fellow feast goers noticed he was missing. The town watch found him an hour later. On his hands and knees, propped against the town pillory, his sword hanging from his neck. Hmm. Yikes. He had died of wounds inflicted with claws, not a weapon. Blows of great force. So he died suddenly. But the body was on its knees, meaning someone posed it. So it seems. Someone posed it? Weird. Hi, Dio. Hello. We get a vineyard? That's fun. Cheers. Second murder. Tell me what you know. In the city, there are certain nooks. No one reasonable ventures there after dark. Ramon Dulac's corpse was found in one such place. With the first murder, terror gripped the city. Its inhabitants grew wary, kept to safe areas. Consequently, news of the second victim came to us from a group of concerned cut purses. Criminals fear the beast? Telling in a way. Take it you've excluded the possibility that Ramon died at the hands of these bandits. Do you believe me, an amateur? Not hands, but claws killed Ramon Claws. The wound was deep, clean. His body was found in the gutter. Huh. Dressed in nightshirt and cap. A pillow placed under his head, and his sword replaced by a bed warmer. Ramon de Lac, a knight who but a dozen years past was an advisor to our father, the Duke. Someone went to a lot of trouble to make him look ridiculous. Maybe revenge was the motive. It's not out of the question. Dulac had shady dealings with the criminal underworld, but no one ever came forth with concrete proof of any misdoings. Both older knights? So, the first two victims were knights, best years behind them. The same could be said of the third. Sir Delacroix was wont to claim that in modern times, knights face new challenges, enterprise being the latest addition to the chivalric virtues. He made a veritable fortune in the grain trade. Palmerin even nicknamed him Sir de la Stinch. Found a coin pouch on his body. Contained florins dating from various times, hailing from different provinces of the Empire. Delacroix loved coin, true, but had no patience for numismatics. Okay, so there's, yeah, more and more Lots similarities? Of similarities between the victims. All the bodies were found in strange places under extraordinary circumstances. Seems the murderer, whoever or whatever yeah, there's it some is, kind of message or to point. These were honorable men. We are horrified by the disdain, the disrespect with which they were treated. These were knights of Toussaint. Blast it. Might be the point. From what you say, none was a model of virtue. Ever considered that's what the beast's trying to draw uh -oh. attention to? 
All the murdered men were knights who swore fealty to the five chivalric virtues. Mm -hmm. And even if Knights of Tusa swear fealty to what virtues exactly? Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Five virtues. Why are they so important to your knights? Strange question. Your grace, forgive Seems me. relevant. I'm a foreigner trying to understand another land's customs. You are forgiven. According to legend, the virtues we cultivate were bestowed upon us by the Lady of the Lake. How we truly came to espouse them, none remember. In Tusa, we believe men of low birth should be simple-hearted and obedient. We expect much more, however, of our knights. They are to be soldiers and courtiers, lords and servants. Thus, the need for clear moral guidelines. At the time of his dubbing, a knight vows to demonstrate throughout his life Honor, wisdom, generosity, valor, and compassion. Seems like it's gonna be relevant, you know? Beast seems to be pointing up moral decay, denouncing it. Victims were all humiliated. Might have been murdered to emphasize their lack of specific chivalric virtues. Honor, compromised by the pillory. Yeah. Wisdom, by ridicule. Generosity, by a mm. coin pouch shoved down a throat. It seems to fit, true, though not perfectly. Can't discount the theory if it's on the lips of everyone in town. Say our reasoning's right. Next murder will be just as showy and denounce the victim's lack of the fourth virtue, valor. We can also assume that victim will be an elder knight. Let's elder see. knight, okay. At the moment, elder all the knights are either at the tourney grounds or in the palace gardens. Our annual hare hunt shall begin there shortly. Have you heard of the custom? Milton mentioned something. Seemed excited to prance around in a bunny costume. He was Not hyped. sure why. Hang on. Strange circumstances. A knight advanced in years. The famed cowardice of rabbits. Could it be that simple? Is Milton de Peyrac Peyren the next victim? Milton also knew Delacroix. Told me so down by the river. Damien! To me something so obvious. De Peyrac Peyren, Crespi, Delacroix, and Delac formed the knightly team. It was years ago, but... What does that mean? They were a team? They were close friends, tightly knit, and as such, earned the trust of our father, the Duke. We often witnessed him turn to them with delicate matters. Later, their paths diverged. Unlikely to be a coincidence. Beast must know it too. It's a lead, I'm sure. Milton? Your Grace, we need to find Milton immediately. Rather problem. This is a whole thing. You see, the garden entertainments are due to start. Trying to keep up. And he's disguised as the hare, hiding somewhere, waiting for some tipsy courtiers to find him. The hare's hiding place is a carefully guarded secret. We must call off the game at once. First and foremost, we must remain calm. Damien, order the garden searched immediately, but discreetly. By no means can we disrupt the festivities. Panic will only incite the beast to strike sooner. And you, Witcher, follow me. My gardens, my knight, I shall take the fall. A murder is out of the question. I will not allow it. Not near my palace. Horses? Ready our horses. To the horses. I like her dress. What's that? Your oh. Grace. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Okay. What the hell? Why I should? Your Highness, I. Mind it doesn't get. Look at her go. Mind it doesn't get wrinkled. No. <laughs> yeah, girl. Uh huh. Hey. That is silk! Be careful! <laughs> Give it to me! I'm holding on to it. Uh. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a very expensive dress, Doctor, yes. Come on, Rise like the wind! Your grace seems right at home in a saddle. We're going. This way! We're on a mission. Try not to lose some weight. Sharp right. Take care. Ah! 
god! Sorry, I almost running people over. They're like, why is it her? Oh, good luck trying to catch up to the horses. What a beautiful city. Clear the way, I said. Gorgeous. One of the prettier cities cities I've ever seen in a game. Like Wow. Hurry. We must go to where the game is being held. The participants must find a unicorn's horn, a golden fish, and a phoenix egg. With these in hand, they can deduce where the hare, Milton, hides. You mean we need to find those things too? We've no other option. But time is of the essence, so we shall have to break the rules. What does that mean? What does that mean? Second thought, through here. I shall show you where the hunt plays out. Then we will split up. You will get hold of the unicorn horn and the golden fish. But I nab the phoenix egg. That will be quick. Unicorn horn, golden fish. Golden fish. Do I need a rod or a net? Please, get it. Why did it it's give me a timed fish. choice on that option? Look there. Don't, do the I only get to ask about one? See the lights? The hunters ah. are trying to hook the fish from boats. You must simply dive in and find it. The unicorn. How do I catch it? It's terribly skittish, true, but I'm sure you will find a way to earn its trust. It turns around over there. Look. The golden fish and the horn both contain things or clues that will help us find Milton. Once you have fish and horn, find me among the other Phoenix egg hunters. All clear? Then let's get to it. Okay, simple. Uh, where do I go? I think over here. Yeah. Who'd have thought? Okay, so. <laughs> Look at how long this has gotten suddenly. Anna Henrietta's time was precious. To get an audience with her was never an easy feat. Even more so in these days, as the Duchess was an overseeing a chivalric tourney playing out on tourney grounds outside the walls of Toussaint's capital. Yet in the end, Geralt faced the one who had summoned him, and as they related what each had learned about the beast, thus pooling their knowledge and hypotheses, they deduced the likely identity of its next victim, who could very well prove to be Milton de Perak Peron. Geralt and Anna Henrietta rushed like rabbits through the palace gardens. Ironically, at the time, the gardens were the venue for a game of Hunt the Hare. Milton had been assigned the title role. The knight, having donned a bunny rabbit costume, sat, in hi sat hiding in the gardens, waiting to be found by the game's participants based on clues they could win by completing various challenges. Yet the Duchess and the Witcher could spare no time for such nonsense and set out to win clues by breaking the rules. So, we have two things to go get. She, she really booked it on that horse, right? She got it done. Impressive. We also have like a bunch of side quests and things. I, I didn't realize I would have started a side quest or something uh, before starting all of this. All good. All right, here we go. She's an interesting character. I like her. Loot? What can I loot? Vermentino Red, a dry red wine. Hmm. Slightly peppery taste pairs wonderfully with game and cheese. I want some cheese. I always say that every time they bring up cheese. But it's always true, okay? That sounds like a peacock. Perhaps an apple will work. Or some sweets. We the would not be noises. in this predicament, like dear scream. sister. Were you still a virgin? What? Do you really wish to have this conversation again? Again? Here and now? Hush, or you'll spook the beast. We shall try this. Weird thing to be talking about right hey, now. folks. Gonna have to ruin your fun. Sorry. Who's that? <laughs> this horse is gonna run away, isn't it? Yeah, 
Goodbye. Girl, you couldn't have tried to use a rope or something the first time. Find a treat? Where? See, that's a peacock. See, there it is. See, I knew. Yep, yeah, see, I knew. Roach likes carrots. Maybe unicorn will too. A new quest item, okay. This is an outrage. An outrage, a I tell scandal. You. It's against the rules. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Palace Gardens? Okay, yes. Damn it. Okay, so I need to approach from further what away. What say to a delicious crunchy carrot? There we go. Approach with carrots. Easy. Friend. Gardens are huge. They're off on horseback. Faster. Clue from the horn of a unicorn. End like a mouse with the head of hard cheese. Hmm. We hereby grant Geralt of Rydia. Yes, we got a deed. Cool. We have a house. I can't wait to see it. We'll go see it as soon as possible. Go. Go. Don't run over the birds. Jennifer does like unicorns. Yes, she does. Golden fish should be easy to spot once I'm under. Oh, look, at, he's going crazy. Oh, sorry, I pushed him out of the way. He was going crazy. Oh, look at him go. Oh, look at him go. Oh. He's going crazy. <laughs> okay. What the blazes? Did someone just dive in the water? Perhaps that's the way to do it. Sure, if you're a peasant. If you're a peasant. Or if you want to win, all right? Turn around. Toffee. I'm just taking all of the bait to find the golden fish. Where is the golden fish? I do not see it. Mm, not over here, apparently. We'll see. It's got to be this one. Oh, we're dying. Oh, we're dying. Oh, my bad. Oh, my bad. I didn't realize. Oops. Oops. <laughs> we're dying suddenly. My bad. Wait, how about up here? No. Okay, but how about this one? Oh, oh, yes, this one. No. What? Hey, wait. Stop, it's important. Hmm. King Cormorant, sire, accept this offering we bring. Pretty cast upon us your merciful eye and bear before us its secrets. As the moon is heavenly course up trace, in my domain I await that moment of grace when a soul of good or ill repute brings me a gift fitting tribute ah. Gar <laughs> I love a it girl hmm. well why you bomb <laughs> the stretch this ruins the game disgraceful i did beat the main game i know wild thanks for joining us welcome Some Gwent. We've done a little bit of Gwent here. The new Skellige deck seems interesting. We need to do some more, though. Coming through. 
Wait, I want to take the unicorn again. <laughs> Can we get a unicorn horn for Roach? Can we take Let's it? Go. Truly, to send a witch. What, Geralt causing struggle and strife? As the usual. His daily. Go, go. You know, it's about time we also meditated. Here he comes, please. Thank you. But your grace, no matter. If you please, your grace. We do not please. We act out of the highest necessity. All shall be explained later. But it's against the rules. I am the rules. <laughs> I am the rules. That's fair. Geralt, at last. Got a key and a clue. I've another. Show me yours. Who wrote this drivel? I begin like a groan, hollowed out with ease, then end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. I begin... Like a groan hollowed out with ease and end like a mouse with a head of hard cheese. So that's not. It's not gonna be the pantry. Like a cave, maybe? Got no idea. I, someplace cramped. I don't know. That's all I got. Is it about someplace really cramped, uncomfortable? Because it mentions groans and a mouse? No, false hints, no. I think. Meant to lead us astray. Look, if we take groan, hollow it. Green. Oh, it is greenhouse. Leaf. Oh, that's Let the one I didn't even consider. <laughs> we get green, then mouse, but starting with what heads heart cheese. Why, it's greenhouse. Hmm. Oh, okay. That she. sounds right to me. All right, she knew what she was talking about. I didn't gardens, get this one. But only one with a door that locks, and the key to it looks just like the one we found. She's crushing it. Let's go. To the greenhouse. Oh, we're just going straight there. Oh, dang. Wait here. I thought I was going to be able to take a second. I want to do side quests. When am I doing side quests? What is that? What are those claws? Carol, what? Oh, what the fuck? You break your knees when I do that. What was that? to you maybe it did but you may keep it i have a new oh one. you have a new hand I do that's not good know you. i've done you no harm yet first have you? you butchered a bruxa who was dear to me now you pursue me okay she attacked Why? me to be fair you've killed four innocent people at least and you how many innocents have you cut down she is possible I'm not talking about me. Not here to talk about me. Yet, that is exactly what we are doing. Hmm. So, did they send you after me? Who are they? What do you mean, they? Duchess hired me. You've been murdering her subjects. 
Is it as simple as that? I would ask you to convey to the Duchess that I've but one victim left. But you'll not get the uh -oh. chance. Uh-oh. 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 Ooh, he's freaky. Here we go. I won't let you go again. Dang it. I was gonna say I better get Jordan down while I have the chance. I didn't have the chance. Okay. Um, first and foremost. This. How many answers? How much stamina does he have? that down. Never get those enough. Nice blend of like magic and combat, like sword fighting, you know? Oh! You were to stay where you were. Regenerate! I know you're in trouble. I can help. I'll What's help that? myself. No, he's my friend. What's that? There's a hole in him. Yes, Geralt, it's me. Uh, you, you have a little Regis? something. I, you all right? All is well. All's in order. Wounds such as these heal on vampires in moments. But we've not seen one another in ages, my friend. At least in human terms, that is. Huh? How's this even possible? Last I saw you, we... I was a bubbling, shapeless smear, having been rather spectacularly melted into a column of a certain castle. In somewhat better shape now, as you can see. From the past? Hardly peaked for, mind you, but were I human, folk would think me a demigod, I dare say. <laughs> I'm sorry. What happened? It was my fault. Never got a chance like to apologize. Like Percy Jackson here? No need, Geralt. Bygones. I did not have to join you on that expedition. No one twisted my arm. Thanks. Uh... How? Miraculous regeneration. How do you manage it? I had help from the one you hunt. Him? How? And 
what have you been doing all these years? Not the time nor place for such stories. <laughs> I suspect we'll get a chance to speak at ease and at length later. Huh. Now, however, we must huh. deal with the reason that brought us both here. A bit of lore here. <sighs> you know the killer? Yeah? <laughs> Local serial killer seems to obey you. Maybe you could talk him out of it, convince him to stop murdering. Thank Why you. Why do you think I'd come? It shall not be easy, as death laugh can be rather stubborn. Though you must certainly recall that neither do I surrender readily. So that's his name. He's your friend? Mm. You might call it that. Though Detlaf is... How would you humans put it? More bestial than I am. But not to worry. I'm working on him. Haven't exactly done a great job with that. He's killed one night since I got here. At least three others before I arrived. For good reason, I'm sure. Understand. Detlaf is not some decadent shit who kills for sport, or to assuage a dryness of throat or a dullness of mood. So, then why? So in your opinion, what are his reasons? Precisely what I wish to find out. And then I will convince him of the error of his ways. It's like, I wanna know what he's doing first. Despite appearances to the contrary, you two are quite alike. You've both noble hearts, yet you both are wont to perform ignoble deeds. When circumstances force you to, of course. Remember the year 964? That was three centuries ago. He's like, not ago. particularly Blind well, huh? fear gripped Rivia, Lyria, and Spala. Women and children were dying. Their mutilated, dismembered corpses littered the fields. Brute of Lyria. Read about it. Chewed up almost 200, then fell to a common poacher supposedly armed with a dagger blessed by some prophet. It fell to Detlaf, who then found a poacher asleep in the brush near his snares and dropped the fiend's corpse at his feet. And thus, a legend was born. Why? Huh. Vampires rarely help humans. Must have had his own agenda hunting the beast. You err. He slew it for one reason alone. The monster killed a lad who once in the street had offered Detlaf an apple, expecting nothing in return. Terribly noble of him. You do not Apples have a and vampires, hmm? Altruism, my friend. Vilgefort melted my body. Detlaf found what was left. As per our codex, he had a choice. To leave me where I was, or to care for me and nurture my remains. He chose the latter. Regenerated me at no small expense in his own blood. Do you know what that means to a vampire? The gravity of the endeavor? Probably same thing it means to a human. You owe him your life. Much more than that. The act itself made us blood brethren. A bond so strong humans cannot even imagine. Which is why I know mm. something ill is afoot. Always had an overdeveloped sense of empathy. Each vampire has a unique talent. One they hone over centuries. It's Sending precisely someone what like Twilight Vampires so difficult just a to little classify. Like only Dead little. Love's trump okay. card is his herd instinct. His tribal propensity. Where's the mind reader vampire? In point of fact, I'm sorry. he prefers the company of lesser vampires and shuns that of humans. If he walks among you, killing egregiously, it can only mean something's upset him immensely. So, okay, what upset him? Anything specific? Some set of things that'd be likely to set him off? How should I say this? Detlaf doesn't understand men, their world, its rules, its conventions. He's naive in a sense. He doesn't comprehend your games, knows not what it means to lie, deceive. Huh. Suggesting he's maladjusted, inventing his rage. I'm suggesting maladjustment can at times breed conflict. Mm -hmm. But is it the case this time? I cannot say, but intend to find out. Okay, so let's find him. Gotta find him, before something upsets him even more, and all Beauclair is awash with blood. Well, we share a cause then, just like the old days. Not entirely. I mean, when I find him, you know. I know you've a contract on his head. Yet your true task is to stop the beast killing, not necessarily to kill the beast, am I right? All in all, sure. Let us find him. By the time we do, I hope I'll have convinced you Detlaf is no monster. Fine, I'll write already. 
But for now, evidence is stacking up against him. Hear that? The posse. Knights must have tracked me here. I prefer they not find me here. I'd makeshift quarters at Mer Lachey's Long Cemetery. We'll meet there. See you. Witcher, we flew here as fast as our courses would carry us. Yet I fear He's we're late gone. to the scene. Pray, where is the beast? Okay, so we have Still some information. About to inspect this site. Withdraw your men before they trample Less over the Less mysterious now. <clears throat> More Sirs, vampiric. We must let the Witcher do his work. Milton's murder cannot go unoffensed. Yes, leave me to work. I've got this, indeed. <laughs> you can repair our sword again. We are leveling up like crazy. I should take a look at my perks here in a minute. Okay, so we now need to go meet at the cemetery. So that was the intro part of that, I believe, taken care of. So we also have some side quests and stuff, which we probably want to go do before we get to that point. Um, we probably want to take these by level. So we'd probably want to start like here and then work our way up as well as doing some Gwent as we go as well. So that is the plan. Um, okay. So let me, okay. Where are we going? Let me get to like anywhere. Let's like go over here. How do I leave? There we go. We must allow the witcher to ply his trade. Oh, yes, must allow the witcher to work. Thank you, yes indeed. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, sir, no, sir, no I letters. You, sir. Letter? Who from? Can't rightly say, sir. I was just to deliver it. Stamp says postage paid, so get lost. Oh, no, he's waiting for a tip. Here you go. Here. And thanks. No, sir. Thank you. And I truly hope I'll be of service again. Give him five Nearest. coins. Gosh, I dang. suspect weighty affairs rather than merely the wine oh, festival. Oh, wait, Yennefer. You to Tucson. Perhaps you'll find time to probe a certain matter in spite of this. I recently came across the mention of one Professor Moreau, a scholar in Beauclair, who conducted research into Witcher mutations. Though the details are rather murky, as is the location of the scholar's laboratory, his journal could contain more information. It lies buried with him in his tomb. I enclose a map I found in the book I happened upon. Though less than completely legible, I trust it will prove useful nonetheless. I felt this matter could prove of some importance to you. Oh, again. Thus, I dispatched this letter without delay. Whatever you decide, please take exceedingly good care of yourself. Your Yen. Your Yen, oh. Hmm. A professor who studied Witcher mutations might actually be worth looking into. So that sounds like that's the armor and things or something? I don't know. That sounds useful. Okay, you know what? Before I take another step... Every time, I, every time I take a step forward, I feel like I, like, get somewhere else and start something new. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, save right here. My goodness. Um, no, so we don't have anything besides just the intro part of this done. Uh, we need to figure out the whole Grandmaster thing. I know that that's part of this quest, so... Or part of this whole DLC, at least. Um, I don't know exactly which quest within it, but I'm sure that we will find it. And, yeah. Yeah, you, again, I'm happy she didn't mention anything about Shawnee. That's good news. <laughs> All right, we'll pick up here next time, you guys. I'm going to keep it um, on the shorter side uh, for today. So here we go. Thank you all again.